Hi, Joey Chris here with a brand new safety segment called Technically Speaking Fall Protection. If I was to ask you the question, what do these markings on this lanyard mean? And what is the significance of the white background? Would you be able to tell me? These markings are a standard set forth by ANSI. This particular label is used by all fall protection manufacturers per ANSI to designate what this particular lanyard is rated for. First, let's start with the six foot marking. In my class, I ask students to guess what the six foot represents on the tag, and more times than not, they guess it's the length of the lanyard, which is not the case. What the six foot is indicating is that the lanyard or shock absorber is rated for a six foot freefall. This is the distance the user travels through the air before the lanyard starts to work. Using this shock pack with a lanyard that is six foot long means your connection point will have to be higher than the connection point on your back. The best practice is to always connect the most elevated 5,000 pound anchor point that you can find, and this will reduce freefall distance. Another option is to buy a shorter lanyard or use a self-retracting lanyard, better known as an SRL or a yo-yo. Now, the next marking on the lanyard is the 900 pounds. This marking indicates that the maximum arresting forces to the user will be below 900 pounds. Lastly, six foot freefall labels will always be white with black printing. This is for easy identification. There are times when overhead anchor points do not exist, such as when working on roofs, structural steel, or equipment. In this case, the user may have to anchor at a location at, but not below their feet. If we do the quick math here, we could potentially have a 12 foot freefall. When this scenario arises, you must assure that the worker has a 12 foot freefall rated lanyard. As you can see, this ANSI rated label shows a 12 foot, which indicates that it's rated for a freefall of that distance. Next, you can see the average arresting forces will be no greater than 1,350 pounds. And lastly, you will notice that the label is now black with white lettering. Again, this makes for easy identification should the worker be working overhead. I've had many safety professionals confess they didn't know of the 12 foot freefall lanyards and asked what would have happened if there had been a fall. Depending on the weight of the user and the freefall distance, they could potentially load the entire 48 inch of energy absorber and come to a sudden stop as the backup safety strap stops the fall. This sudden stop could generate forces greater than the 1800 pounds per OSHA and or the 900 pounds per ANSI. Moving to a 12 foot freefall lanyard or shock pack means that the user or competent person will have to recalculate the total fall distance, potentially adding 12 feet for the fall and 60 inches for the new heavy duty shock pack. These 12 foot freefall energy absorbers are also the same shock packs used by manufacturers for workers that weigh more than 310 pounds. These lanyards are sometimes called big boy, heavy duty, Force 2 or Big Boss lanyards. It's important to know while using these larger shock packs for heavier workers that the new freefall distance is restricted to 6 feet only. In other words, workers that weigh in excess of 310 pounds cannot anchor below the D-ring on their back and absolutely not at their feet, unless you have written permission by the manufacturer. Another situation to be aware of is that if the user is under 310 pounds, and plans to use a heavy duty absorber for free falls under six feet, this could result in the user experiencing forces greater than what both OSHA and ANSI allow. The reason for this is the higher rated energy absorber is designed to deploy at a much greater force. This coupled with a light user means the shock pack could fail to deploy, transferring excess forces to the user. Lastly, even though you may have a nylon lanyard that is rated for a 12 foot free fall, it does not mean it is rated for the leading edge. Most users of this lanyard are anchoring at their feet. If the anchor is located any distance away from the edge, then the user is at risk of the lanyard actually cutting or shearing at the edge as the user falls. Remember, as safety professionals, it's your duty to reduce the risk at every turn. That goes when choosing the product and the application of that product. Always remember to read and keep the owner's manual. If you have any questions regarding this presentation, please feel free to contact me through the information provided at the end of this video. We pride ourselves on being the best at what we do and have done so for the past 30 years. We sell only the best product, 
product that reduces the risk for each application. We communicate the limitations of each equipment and we get you the best product on time, every time, no mistakes. On this day and every day, make it a safe one and always look out for others.